Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Mike Hurd. Well, the slush that was on the table just about five minutes ago is now turned to pure ice. I'm going to go inside. Let's go to the weather computer. we got two cold fronts on the way. The first one is here. This is an Arctic front diving south and with it gusty winds and increasing snow. And the second storm system will show up in about 24 to 48 hours. So Friday afternoon into Friday evening, this storm system will be dropping into Montana. Could bring a better chance for some snow because once the cold air, now that it's here, you're going to throw some warm moist air over the top of that. That could bring some widespread snow. But again, short term forecast. Boy, that cold air took my breath away. We have a little bit of rain and snow in the southern half of Montana, but winter weather advisories are out through at least tomorrow morning. But I, our forecast models show that uh, the best chance for snow is between now and about midnight, 2 a.m., somewhere in there, and then it should diminish. One to three valley, two to six over mountains and passes. Higher elevations in these areas highlighted in pink. Definitely we'll be looking at some heavier snow bands. A winter storm watch is out for storm number two, and there could be an additional six to 12 inches. And I'm expecting uh, some winter storm warnings to go up with storm number two, and we'll look for those highlights tomorrow. So our high resolution model again, showing the cold air sinking southward. We got these snow bands moving through the region, but things will clear out by about seven or eight o'clock tomorrow morning. And then it's just cold. It's cold all day long, should be a dry day. But we're gonna expect the arrival of storm number two showing up Friday afternoon diving into west central northwest and central areas of montana this area will have a heavy impact for snow and the northern half of southwest montana likely to see some significant snow as well so this st first storm again one to two inches of valley snow not for all but for most of our valleys for tonight with higher amounts over mountains and passes storm number two much bigger punch for some snow especially at higher elevations but even the lower valleys could be looking at some uh, decent snow. Exceptions are there, like around Dillon and down towards Alima, may not have as big of an impact. Snow right now in Butte, and again, your wet roads will become very icy. You're already down in the 20s right now, and we have a rising barometer in Bozeman. It's snowing right now, and again, watch for some very icy roads overnight down to just a hair above freezing, but the winds pretty stiff out of the northwest at 20 miles per hour. 20s and 30s currently, but lots of 20s and 30s across the entire state. So how are our numbers going to fare tonight? It's going to be quite a bit colder down in the teens through the uh, lower 20s, well below freezing with additional snow and accumulations and stiff north winds. Arctic front moving through tonight. So that's nothing to mess around with. Uh, try and limit your exposure to the uh, colder weather and the wet weather. And you can see the numbers here too are going to be very cold. So cold enough that our roadways will be very, very icy later tonight and tomorrow morning, both in the valley floor and up and over the mountain passes. Tomorrow, though, should be a dry but cold day. Not too many temperatures reaching the freezing mark. You have to get way in the far western half of Montana to see those upper 30s, like around Missoula, for example, but mostly a mix of 20s and 30s as you move eastward. So it's going to be a dry but a cold Thursday. So storm number two shows up Friday night into Saturday Butte, and that has some colder air associated with it. But once that storm moves out and skies clear Sunday, Monday morning, down about 10 to 15 below zero. But look how quickly we rebound out of that by Wednesday of next week for Bozeman. A good chance for snow tonight into early tomorrow morning, but tomorrow should be a mostly dry day. Storm system number two Friday afternoon evening into Saturday morning. Good chance for some moderate to heavy snow at times. And again, once that storm moves out, colder highs and much colder lows down around 5 to 10 below zero. But back up to about 43 degrees by Wednesday of next week. Dylan, low probability of snow tonight, but mountains should be picking up some. Better chance for some snow on Saturday, but here too, clearing and colder for Sunday and into Monday morning lows down about 5 to 10 below zero. But quickly warming back up in the 40s. Uh, by the time we get into Wednesday of next week. And for West Yellowstone, 28 uh, for your temperature tomorrow, but about 28 again on Saturday with an increasing chance for snow. Colder temperatures are headed your way. I'm being modest, maybe around 10 to 15 below, but sometimes when we predict 10 to 15 below, it ends up in around 20 to 25 below zero. We'll just have to wait and see, but it's definitely going to be cold Sunday morning and Monday morning. We'll be right back.